What's up guys, how y'all doing? Zerg here. And in today's video we'll be having a look at damage reduction so that you guys can understand how the damage you take is calculated within Arnocraft. Okay, so I'm gonna ahead and build myself a little thing here just to explain the different tier to you guys of how damage is calculated exactly. So let's walk up here, this is the main sign. So just for example I used 100 incoming damage as the example. So there's four layers how the damage is calculated exactly, and it's not all at once. So say you have 100 damage incoming, it will firstly be reduced by your resistance that you have at the time. What's left then will be reduced by your level of protection, which is your enchantments that you have, then by your armor, and what's left then by the extras that you have. Worth knowing is all damage reduction levels, so resistance, protection and armor, they are capped at 80%. So you can't reduce any damage further beyond 80%. Cool, does that make sense? Okay, first one. This is, of course, your level of resistance. You guys can see in the top left screen there, I've got resistance 3. That is just for display purposes. But each level of resistance you have will give you 15% damage reduction per level. Max that's 3, which will give you 45% damage reduction. That is your level of resistance only. However... All of your baubles, of course, you can enchant them with the undying enchant, not en enchantment, quality rather. So you can reforge them at the reforging stations. So this undying enchantment will give you a further 3% damage reduction per bauble. And you can, of course, have six of these. If you equip the Ankh shield as well, you can have six of these. So altogether, all 3% combined that these guys give you will add up to another 18%. And that counts as resistance. So, if you have resistance 3, and you have this undying quality on all of your baubles, that will get added up, and that will give you a further 18%. So, altogether, that will give you 63% damage reduction in total. You can, of course, also drink the potion of resistance if you guys want, but it's not permanent, so not really mentioning that here. And that is the first stage, resistance. So, what's left here, we'll now go on to our armor. Now then... So, you have the protection enchantments. First thing you guys need to know is that due to the first aid mod, um, of course, this is locational. This counts for armor as well, and the protection enchants. So, protection 4, that will give you 60% damage reduction. As for advanced protection, uh, advanced protection 4 rather, that's going to give you 80% damage reduction, and that is locational. So, the main ones you guys will want to focus of course without uh, you know without being obvious is your head and your chest those being your two fatal locations of course you will die of course so say whatever is left of the 100 damage goes through our resistance and it was going to be a headshot it now gets reduced by the advanced protection on my head if that damage was targeted at my head which is the location of course and that will be reduced by a further 80% if you have advanced protection 4 on there. Of course, only be 60% with normal protection 4. Alright, so from here, we now move on to our armor. So, I've had a little chat with Javaxi and he said he made the golem helmet just barely hit the armor cap. So, the Golem Helm has got 23 locational armor, so that means 23 armor being the maxed out level of armor per location. So as soon as you reach that point, there's no, no real point of, you know, further going for more armor. Instead, you can go for armor toughness, which is a bit weird. Um, armor toughness is calculated, I think, each four armor toughness gives you the equivalent of one armor point's worth of damage reduction. And it is a bit weird, it's one of those um, Minecraft foggy areas. If you guys Google armor toughness, it is very confusing. But basically what happens is, the higher the number of damage that comes through, that hits your armor, the less effective your armor actually is. So if there's a high number of damage coming through, your armor will be less and less effective at reducing that incoming damage, depending on the value of the incoming damage. So, you guys can, of course, juice up your armor by re-rolling them to get yourself the masterful quality. And as you guys can see at the bottom there, it gives you some extra armor and armor toughness. So that's one way where you guys can soup up your armor if you are, uh, you know, in need of some more armor and you haven't reached that cap yet. 
but also worth noting is you can also roll armor if you need to in your balls. So as you guys can see there, I've rerolled this one in both our reforging stations, and that gives us an extra of like three and a half armor. And so because of the first aid mod, how that will work is that value will be split up into four and then distributed among the four locations. So that is roughly, what is that, four? So yeah, let's, just, let's just say it's four. So then that will be split up to one extra point of armor per location. So that's how you guys can get yourself some extra armor there. So that is, of course, the third tier. I'll get to the fourth and next. So it goes through our uh, resistance, gets reduced by 45% or 63% if you're completely maxed, then goes through the 80%, then what's left there, once again, will get reduced by your armor. And lastly here is my little extras area. So these are little extras in game, which also gives you damage reduction at the very last. So whatever's left from our armor will now move on to this point. And there's a couple of sources here. We're gonna have a look at them now. So the first thing is, of course, if you play with a shield. I love this enchantment. If you enchant your shield with natural blocking two, that will give you 20% damage reduction of what's left you know, from your armor. And the other thing is, of course, if you just use the saber or the rapier, let me hold shift here, as you guys can see there, it gives you damage absorption, which is 25%, which is really good, in my opinion. So 25% free, basically, damage reduction just for using one of these weapons is really good. So that's an extra 25% damage reduction. You can also, and this is a bit off topic because it's not true damage reduction, but I'm going to mention it anyway because I love this enchantment. You guys can enchant your weapon with the parry enchantment and that gives you a chance. I'm not sure how much exactly to be honest. I think it might be anywhere from 20 to 30 percent, but it gives you a chance to completely block or evade rather, um, or parry I suppose is the right word. It gives you a percentage chance to completely parry an attack regardless of the amount of damage. So any attack, doesn't matter how much damage, this is a chance to just block that entirely and it's a super good enchant. The other one which I've stopped using is the evasion enchants which you can put on your leggings. Now you can change this I believe in the config but I don't quite like you know tampering with the mod pack because I feel like you know it's in the game for a reason but the evasion once again um, enchant gives you a chance to completely evade an incoming attack but it has this annoying little thing where it also makes you jump in a certain well dash rather would be the word it makes you dash in a random direction so that was I mean it saved me loads of damage I suppose like in uh, big mob fights but if you're like, you know, if you're in a dangerous area and there's lava next to you or there's you no know, um, a big old crevasse next to you, then this kind of chucks you in the direction. And yeah, it can spell death, particularly if you're in the end and you leap off the end there, then uh, yeah, you're pretty much screwed. So yeah, it is very nice to have, but it really sucks due to the dash feature that it's got in there. Let me see if that's everything. No, that's one more in the L menu. So one more extra source of damage reduction at the end here is if you guys go under your L menu under combat iron skin, if you max this out, that gives you a further 25% damage reduction of what's left. And I don't think all of these get lobbed together. I think they are, uh, they, they get calculated through a tier type basis. So you probably go through whatever's left that re uh, is reduced by the armor will probably get reduced by 25% from the iron skin. Whatever's then left will get reduced by, if you're using a saber, 25% again, and then by another 20% from natural blocking, or just get blocks entirely, blocked entirely by the parry or the uh, evasion. But yeah, evasion kind of sucks ass, to be honest with you. But uh, that is how that works. So just to give you guys a quick run through again, it's not that hard, but it's uh, you know a bit complicated to get your head around first. So the whatever damage is incoming will first get reduced by your level of resistance and the baubles if you've got them enchanted with undying. From there what's left will get reduced by your protection enchants depending on which area is hit of course. So uh, yeah, you know, it, it's not like old Minecraft where your protection, if you have protection on everything, it will just, you know, give you 80% on everything. It has to be on that piece of armor which is targeted by the incoming damage. From there we move on to our armor that then gets reduced, blah, 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 and then the extras. And then, uh, well, that's, that is a crap ton of damage reductions. If you guys have got all this, you should be fine, but definitely get lifesteal is what I would recommend. Lifesteal, uh, 
saves you in you know these situations where you get overrun and also just a little extra tip i suppose a bit off topic but uh, lifesteal and vampirism they do stack so you can have them on the same weapon just to let you guys know and that's basically that yeah oh these are two the two reforging stations you know of course that one and that one da, da, da. you need both of them if you want to reforge all of your good stuff uh, but apart from that that is it trying to keep it as quick as possible and i hope that was clear I didn't cover everything, there's probably more things in the game, but I haven't got the time to find all of them, so you guys can probably find that by yourselves. But apart from that, I hope that has made the incoming damage numbers clear to you guys, so you guys understand how it's calculated. And apart from that, thanks for watching you guys, and have yourself a lovely day. This is Zergus saying goodbye! Yeah.